in this problem, we are finding angle measures in an isosceles triangle, and we're being given algebraic expressions uh, for a couple of the angles. What we need to know to solve this problem is that in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite the legs are the same. So this angle is the same as this angle. So if this one here is 3x plus 19, then this one is 3x plus 19. But we need to find the actual value, the number value for each of these angles. So we're going to need to set up an equation and then solve for x and then take the x value we get and plug it back into these expressions to get the numbers for each of the angles. Uh, the other piece that's crucial to know is that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we can make an equation by saying 4x plus 2, that's the angle here at the top, plus 3x plus 19, one of the angles down at the bottom, plus 3x plus 19, that's the other angle, equals 180. All right, let's see if we can uh, combine some like terms. We've got 4 and 3 and 3x's. That's 10x. And 2 plus 19 plus 19 is 40. So 10x plus 40 equals 180. Now we'll subtract 40 from both sides. And we get 10x equals 140. Divide by 10 and we get x equals 14. Not done yet. Now we need to take this value of 14 and plug it back in in each of these expressions. So 4 times 14 plus 2 is going to be the angle uh, at h. So let's see. That's uh, 56, 58, I think. You might want to double check that on your calculator. And let's try this uh, 3 uh, times 14 plus 19. I think that's going to be 61. And that's the measure for both the angle at F and the angle at G. So those are our angle measures for this isosceles triangle.